Well, she's a cheerleader and in about an hour she could be crowned homecoming queen at San Ysidro High. Violet Ree would be the first ever transgender homecoming queen in the county. But when or not, 10 News reporter Michael Chen tells us Violet believes that she's already snagged a win. At a pep rally. <laughs> cheers before the big game. And a dance from the cheer squad, including a girl. Pretty nervous, to be honest. <laughs> who would be queen. Excited too, but mostly nervous. In about an hour, Violet Ree will learn if she'll be crowned homecoming queen at San Ysidro High. Violet is 17 and transgender since she started her transition last summer. Community, I get half and half towards acceptance. Her life hasn't been easy, though she says she's gotten a lot of support from family and other students. The cheer squad nominated her for homecoming queen. Well, my heart was pounding really fast. And recently, Violet found out she was one of the five finalists voted on by the seniors. The winner to be crowned at halftime during tonight's football game. She admits she has visualized the moment. The stands packed with people. Her name announced. Flowers everywhere. Grand Marshal here about to announce the winner. We asked her, if you win, what do you see? I see myself um, crying a newborn girl, an accepted girl. A successful girl. Violet says title or no title, she's already won her nomination, shining a light on transgender teens. This past year, four transgender teens in the county have taken their lives. For other transgender youth, Violet has this message. It truly does get better. I've had worse days before, and I'm here, you know, like better from here on on. Michael Chen, 10 News. Again, the homecoming queen will be crowned in about an hour. We'll tell you how it turns out on 10 News at 11.